This is Nicole from TimeSolve and this video is going to show you how to record time entries. To get to this screen, click on Time and Time Entry. The calendar on the left will automatically populate to today's date indicated by the orange box. To move within the calendar and change the date being recorded, just simply click within and select the day you need. The calendar will also show you monthly totals ran below and weekly totals on the right. To move months, click on the single arrow. To move years, click on the double arrows. The four box is the timekeeper in which the time is being recorded for. To bring up the coin and matter associated with the time entry, you can either type to search to find your coin and matters or double click to receive a list and select the matter you need. The task codes work or activity codes works the same way type to search or double click for a list. The billable type box is a permission setting seen in another video on how to turn on. This box allows you to change the billable type for the entry. You record your hours. The rate can be automatically populated in for you if you have these turned on either at a timekeeper level for their default rate or if this rate is tied in with the specific matter being recorded. You also need to refer to those videos on how to create those default rates. You can also simply just enter in the manual rate that you need. If you have a fixed amount that needs to be entered, go ahead and select the enter fixed amount. And for an example, you can enter in a $500 flat fee here. To get back to the rate section, just click on enter rate. The description box will just need to be filled in with the activity that's associated with the time being recorded. You also have the option to create abbreviations within TimeSolve to alleviate some time and make entering these entries a little faster. You can hover over this piece of paper here and find the abbreviations that I've created within TimeSolve to speed up my entry process. To activate your abbreviations, you simply type in the shortcut abbreviation letters and hit spacebar and it will fill in the description for me please refer to the abbreviations video on how to set these up. To save your entry and create a new one, hit the Save and New. Save and Duplicate button will allow you to save the entry you created, duplicate the information, and save it on a different day within the calendar. TimeSolve also allows you to start a timer to record your time. In order to do so, you must check this box, hit Save and New, and activate the timer. You'll see the three bars indicated below are showing that the timer is running. To stop the timer, just click on the, on the lines, and the clock will appear. To restart the timer, just simply click the clock, select the lines again to stop the timer. We have different statuses within TimeSolve that will help you understand where the time entry is throughout TimeSolve. The build status on this entry above for this ABC client indicates to you that the time has been recorded but it's already been billed and sent off to the client. The entry we just created was approved, has not been put on a bill yet, and is basically waiting to be pulled onto a draft you'll see that you have the ability to edit this entry should any of the information be incorrect you simply click edit it will populate all the all the information above we can go ahead and let's say we need to change the rate and click update you can see that it has updated that information you can also copy this information and save it to another day or you can delete the entry Pending means this entry for Chicago Partnership has been recorded, approved, and has been pulled on a draft and is waiting to be billed to the client. The build and pending statuses do not allow you to edit entries because those entries are locked within the system and associated with the bill. TimeSolve also offers other ways of recording your time 
by using the Time Sync app to record time offline. You can record your time entries within the mobile app and record your entries using an iPad or other tablets. Please refer to those videos to learn how to record time entry using those applications.